Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, which is about twin flame reconnection and your ascension. Don't forget that part because it's really going to be pushing people. This video is about explaining to you why separation is necessary for union. Yet another paradox here on planet Earth where it seems almost counterintuitive, where you're like, why would I need to separate if I'm supposed to be together with a twin flame? And everything in you feels very compelled about that. Like you, you're supposed to be with this person. You're supposed to do things together. You're supposed to merge your parts together. There are valid reasons. And these reasons are set out by the divine and by your higher selves. So they include, first and foremost get to know yourself now you've had many lives where you see the reflection of yourself in other people's eyes the good the bad and the ugly how did you look how did you appear if you don't believe in reincarnation when you're a twin flame you start having things that make you scratch your head and you're like was that a past life we can guide you through your past lives because we do that for healing for deep healing we can tap into your akashic records so the very first thing is you get to know yourself again, not just what happened to you, okay? Not just your occupation or descriptions of your occupation, like saying, well, I'm, you know, a United Statesian or I'm a Canadian or I'm from the UK or I'm from Greece or, you know, the UAE or whatever. These are not identities that really matter. They might be relevant for only this life, okay? Your career will shift and change as you grow and as you bring in your skills that come through your brand new twin flame body. Those skills are very hard won skills based on your experiences. We need that. Collectively, we need that. Collectively, we don't need the fighting and the dissension and the discord. We need the constructive stuff, the positivity, the productive stuff, okay? And that doesn't mean that you're always going around, you know, doing a fairy dance all over the world. That means what are you really bringing to the table? What are you and your twin able to bring in through your merged connections? That's the key. It's not just, you know, our little monkey minds thinking of this because it has limits. Now, recently, I've been asked by a couple of people, how do I tune in? Okay, there's a difference between meditating, which some people do as a guided meditation, or they'll turn on music or something like that. That's intended to relax you. But a true 5D activation meditation actually gets you to a new level, a brand new level where there's none of the miasm of the collective mind. I mean, what is happening to people? You look and you're like, people are losing their minds. They're going to keep losing it. We need you to help bring things on track. So this is why it's not just your occupation, because your gifts come through whatever your occupation is or whatever you're doing for a living right now. And if you're looking for what am I supposed to be doing? What is my mission? In my session called the Twin Flame Spirit Chat, we help you with that. But your inner self, okay? So you're getting to know yourself, and it's not just one level of yourself. Where's my pen? Oh, well. It's not just one level of yourself. I need to tell you there are levels of you. So you have the inner self, the core of your heart and soul, Okay, so you have connections on the inside that are connections to your soul, to your heart and soul. This is why you felt things to begin with. It was like you snapped out of it, you were awakened, you were activated, whatever words you're using for this, but there it goes. It's on. Okay, there's no turning off the fa faucet for some of this. A lot of people say, how can I get rid of this twin flame thing? Well, it ebbs and flows, but it is going to keep coming back, which is why it's so vitally important to work with your twin flame body, especially in the way that I teach, because it makes it easy. It's the natural inherent part of you. It's the divine part of you. It is the divine part of you that is designed for that, 
not the mind, not the frontal lobe, not your memory banks. You have your twin within. This is what a lot of people feel. They'll try to engage with a soulmate and then the soulmate goes away or they have arguments or they're like, well, I'm kind of confused. Is it my spouse? Because I feel this inner thing. The inner twin is the inner twin. That is 100% hands down, not the outer twin. And it gets really confusing. And there's ways to know. The ways you know is when you're doing something and they seem to be taking a dive. You can't get along with them. They rub you the wrong way. It's like oil and water. Even if you got along, that is not like checking the list and saying, well, we're going into a separation. You could need to separate from soulmates. Hear me out. Please hear what I'm saying. You need to separate from soulmates. You need to separate from karmic partners. You need to clear your sexual energy. You need to do that because within your sexual energy, that's different than celibacy. Okay, celibacy can happen voluntarily and voluntarily. Clearing your sexual energy is the proactive actions you take. And I will be talking about that and we're going to be teaching about it. Okay, because that affects your root stability for things. This can also, your twin within has to do with inner child, your childhood, their childhood, past life childhoods and parallel lives. Parallel lives are sometimes like a little test run. It's like running on a track, but maybe that track is muddy and you have an accident and well, we learned a lesson there, okay? You have a lot of lessons archived in your Akashic records. How many more do you need? Because you're gonna keep collapsing that. This is um, collapsing time. Now, time is a construct. There's quantum time. And there's linear time. We are subject to linear time, which means the sun goes up, the sun goes down, the sun comes up a few hours later, your tummy is hungry, you'll have seasonal things. There's a lot to know with this, but we make it really simple. We kiss it, we keep it simple and sweet. The knowingness of individual purpose in your true identity. Your true identity is a human angelic who is here to re- connect with your true love and be together and live happily forever, ever and ever after, forever after, forever and ever. <laughs> That's very daunting for a lot of people. They will look at someone and be like, you mean I'm stuck with that for the rest of eternity? Yeah, you may not be stuck with that person because it may not be your person. So focus on you. Get to know yourself because little by little, You'll either detach from that person or you'll improve them. And you know what? That's how it works. It's it's the low road or the high road. It is inevitable that Twin Flames will be the only person in the entire universe that we can positively transform from the inside out. Okay? That's your true identity. When you leave these bodies, when you depart this earth, when you die... When you pass over, and a lot of people believe that you don't go anywhere, you do. And this is also a part of my work to let people know exactly how multidimensional they truly are. You also need to get to know your own higher self and your twin flames higher self. And believe me, when you work on getting to those levels, and by work, what I mean is, Expanding your light body. It's delightful. It's not a chore. It shouldn't be looked at as a chore or be done as the result of a crisis. Like, oh my God, I'm feeling all this intensity. Do it. Fix it. Fix me. Where's my twin? Where are they going to show up? Okay, like, let's stop being chicken little about the crises. There is a time and a way and a method, and I have that. Your twin's higher self will let you know and will show up. And we'll keep showing up. And even that gets delightful because you get the etheric touch. You get that angelic touch. You get the boost. You get the doors open for you that you cannot do from a human level. You get to know the divine being that you truly are. But what does this take? Okay. When you go into separation, 
you're recognizing the patterns, the behaviors that need healing and removing. What does this mean? Having knee-jerk reactions, breaking up, having an argument, deciding to go off to bed with someone, and it has to be off the table. Again, clear, clear yourself. Clear these patterns because that is in the roots. I'm going to say this. I have seen distinct patterns that females have, and some of it's toxic femininity. I have seen distinct patterns that males have, and yes, some of it is toxic masculinity, okay? How many people take the time after a breakup to be like, hold on, I don't want to bring all the garbage that I had in that relationship and all the toxicity into this new one. I think I'll just find a new person and dump it on. And that happens a lot. Plus, as we get a little older, people's needs change. They may need financial support. Okay. Who needs a gold digger? We're here for true love. Either one. Not the gigolo, not the gold digger. Not, not the sugar mama, not the sugar daddy. Let's take heed of what's really happening. Don't be a patsy. Don't be deceived. So... Working with yourself, for yourself, by yourself, with us, is the key. You have to have proper respect, acknowledgement, consideration, and value for who you truly are, for your true identity. So join us for the Lionsgate. We are doing a program from the 7th till the 10th. Because if this energy is intense for you, August is intense. It is a fire month. We're, this is in Virgo. Virgo is very earthy. That means your earthly things. That means your personal relationships with things like work based on the core and heart and soul of you. Okay, you, you're here to be kissed and touched and caressed and have the real thing. You're here for the real thing. You're not here for a facsimile, a false thing, a thing that'll suck the life out of you. You're here for the real thing. And we're here to break these patterns, okay? You wouldn't believe the transformations. Like, our sessions have been on fire. And it's on fire because that is the fiery energy of Leo and the earthy energy of Virgo. Like, we're using a lot of elements here to, like, get it together, get it on track, okay? We work with the twin flame body, okay? Not just seven chakras. Those seven chakras probably were opened a couple of lifetimes ago. You came in with them. Some of you had a few more opened. You did that in your previous life. Now it's on. It's time for the real thing. So join us. The link is below in this description. Or also get my book, Twin Flame Journal and Workbook. Okay, this is a workbook that has uh, several things that it's teaching you. It's not a lot of journaling. You can write a few words. I mean, I'm not a, I, I write, I've written like 10 books, but I don't always enjoy it. But here's the thing, when it flows, it flows. If you want to learn how to do a little bit of automatic writing, try the journal workbook because it's intended to help you Get in the mode of, okay, get in the mode of a little bit of automatic writing, get your messages, find out what it is that your own higher self needs for you, okay, your higher self and your twin's higher self because you're aligning two people. You're two different people with two different biologies, with two different upbringings, with two different, you know, possible gender bodies. Okay, what do you need that aligns you step by step by step by step by step by step by step until you're touching and kissing? Okay, the other part of this, not just the journal, there is a distinct first primer breath to open your main first channel. And I teach it in, to you in here step by step. And we want you to have a heart orgasm because that will open you. That opens the inner and it opens wherever that person really is. It's not going to open your spouse. It's not going to open your children. It's going to open you for what you need to receive. 
get the junk out, get the love in. Kind of pretty simple. Keep it simple and sweet. So I hope to see you there. Reach out to me. Please look at the links below. Please like and subscribe and tell people about my work because it really helps not just the channel, but it helps me. I consider myself to have years of experience with helping people really get where they need to go. And it happens by virtue of the fact of working with their twin flame body. Because I'm not God. I am a guide on the journey. I am a 5D guide. I'm a multidimensional healer. But you know that you've got potentials in there. And you know, sometimes from the time of a child, you're here for love. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.